Video interviews are one of the fastest growing alternative interview styles around today. And if you're a job seeker, you're bound to have one. In this video, you'll learn how to best prepare for your next video interview so that you can enter it with confidence and ease and hopefully land your ideal job offer. And hey, if you want a knockout resume, one that's going to land you more interviews and better job offers, make sure you take a look at my free training, the five part formula to make your resume a success. I'll go ahead and link it below. If we've never met before, I'm Heather Austin from professoraustin.com and the Career Club on Facebook. And on this channel, I teach working professionals just like you how to build your personal brand so that you can land your dream job and grow in a field you love. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you're notified when I go live or publish a new video every week. Here's the thing, more and more companies are using video interviews as a way to hire talent. In fact, it's been reported that 60% of hiring managers and recruiters now use video interviews as a way to streamline the hiring process. They're quickly learning that video interviews take less time, they cost less, and they actually decrease the overall employee turnover rate. Not only that, but video interviews are becoming more effective than phone interviews. Before we jump into the five tips you need to master before your next video interview, you need to know about the two most common types of video interviews that you might run up against. The first one is a one-way video. A one-way video interview is a series of text or video-based interview questions. Each question is presented one at a time, allowing you a specific time frame to answer it. You're the only one presenting and doing all the talking. Common one-way interview apps on the market today are Spark Hire and Hire View. I will say that one-way video interviews are more awkward because it's just you on camera answering a set of questions. There's no one on the other end to turn it into more of a conversational interview. It's just you and the interview app. The second type of video interview is a live interview. This type of video interview is very much like an in-person interview except that you're conversing with your interviewer or interviewers using an online platform such as Zoom or Skype. Live interviews are definitely more natural and easy to maneuver than one-way video interviews because there's another person on the other end making it more conversational. No matter the type of video interview you're required to do, make sure you master these five tips. Tip number one, pick the location. Treat your video interview as you would an in-person interview. Would you invite your interviewer into your messy bedroom or maybe even your messy kitchen Probably not. So pick a place that is neat and tidy and free of distraction, preferably a home office or a room in your home that has a neutral background. Make sure no one else will be home when you do your interview and pick a spot that will be very quiet. You want your full attention to be on the interview process. Tip number two, test your equipment. Figure out the equipment you'll need before your interview starts. Most video interviews can be done using a mobile device, a tablet, they can even be done using your laptop or a desktop machine and a webcam. Pick which of these devices you're most comfortable using and then make sure the internet connection is solid and that it's powered up 100% before your interview starts. Now, if you decide to use a webcam for your video interview, which I highly recommend, one of my favorites is the Logitech C920S. It's the same webcam that I use to do my live career Q&A show on YouTube and it works like a charm. It even has a privacy shutter. Here's the neat thing. If video conferencing is part of your weekly or monthly schedule, I highly recommend you to invest in this webcam. In fact, I'll place a link below this video where you can grab it. Tip number three, make sure you have good lighting. Having good lighting during your interview is key. Your interviewer needs to clearly see your facial expressions. They need to get a better sense of your personality and character before they're even going to make a decision to hire you. And no matter how great your answer are to their interview questions, if your lighting is poor, likely they are going to forget about you. One of the best ways to make sure that you're well lit in your interview is to position yourself in front of a window. This will provide a good source of natural light and will bring out your best color. This will also get rid of any unwanted shadows or funky lines. Now, if you're unable to find a window, make sure you place a light directly behind or on either side of you, keeping in mind that you don't want to wash yourself out with too much light. Now, if you decide 
wanted to use your mobile device for your next video interview, I have the perfect cell phone holder with a ring light that will allow you to answer the questions while being hands-free. I'll actually place the link to the cell phone holder below this video. Tip number four, make sure your audio is working. To ensure that your voice is clear and audible and that the interviewer can hear you, make sure you use some sort of earbuds. This is by far the most convenient option. And if you want a more sophisticated audio experience for your interviewer, make sure you get your hands on a lavalier mic. This can be plugged into your desktop, your laptop, or your mobile device, and then connected to your shirt. This will provide a clear audio experience for your interviewer. The lavalier mic that I like to use is the Rode Smart Lav Plus. I'll place a link to that mic below this video. Most of the time you'll have the opportunity to test your audio before the interview even starts. Tip number five, angle your camera properly. In terms of your camera placement, you don't want it too close to your face, but you also don't want it too far away. My recommendation is to keep it within arm's length. If you're conducting a one-way video interview, the interview app will allow you to place your face on the screen to make sure that you're aligned properly so that the interviewer can see you. If you need to, make sure your mobile device or laptop computer is propped up so that you're not too far below the lens or too far above the lens. You wanna position yourself in the center of the screen. Tip number six is to dress appropriately. Treat your video interview exactly as you would your in-person interview. For men, wear a dress shirt with a tie. For women, wear a blouse and preferably a blazer over your blouse. Make sure the colors you choose for your interview attire work well with your skin tone. You don't want anything that will wash you out. You also don't want anything that's too bright and will be distracting for your interviewer. Tip number seven, increase your energy. When it comes to your video interview, bring your A game. Energy translates different on camera than it does in person, which means you need to bring even more more energy for the camera. One thing I like to do before I get on camera is some quick jumping jacks, maybe some push-ups, something to get my energy going so that when I show up live or on camera for you, you can sense that my energy level is a little bit higher than if we were meeting in person. And I have a bonus tip for you, practice, prepare, and be present. So what do I mean by practice? Practice your answers to popular interview questions on camera. This will help you work out some of your gestures for interview day so that you can make any adjustments that you might need. When it comes to preparing, prepare important documents ahead of time. Have your resume printed out and in front of you. Also, jot down notes or items that you know you wanna share in the interview. Because this is a video interview, you can have them in front of you or placed off to the side and glance at them while you're answering questions. And then when it comes to presenting, bring your A game and make sure you smile. I know you'll do fantastic in your next video interview. And to help you interview with confidence and ease, make sure you take a look at the video I made right here. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this. And I will see you in the next video.